So I saw the film and I loved it. Um, congrats on this project. So this movie set in 2006. I love all the music. Barry, are you shocked as I am that this is now considered a period piece of sorts because I'm feeling kind of old? <laughs> yeah, 2006, man. Wow. <laughs> that does make me feel old. Makes I mean, me feel old. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, it's considered a period piece, you say? I mean, it could be, you know? Jeez. Jeez. Yeah, I was seven. I was like eight. Why did you? We're close. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> Jacob, so you've had to tackle so many different accents in your roles, a British one here, an American one in Euphoria, and of course your Elvis voice. Um, which one has been the hardest to master? Uh, you know, I actually think this one was probably the trickiest because I was surrounded by uh, Brits the whole time. So there was a, a you know, Irish. And uh, an Irish. Just saying. Not that I wasn't yeah. too worried about Barry's <laughs> perspective on my accent. But when you have like Rosamund Pike in the room, it's definitely terrifying when you're doing her voice, you know. And Barry, there's been some Oscar buzz surrounding this film. How has that felt for you? And yeah, really has... sunk in? Wait, wasn't I called Oscar last night? <laughs> you were called Oscar nominated. Oscar. Oh, Oscar nominated. That's, yeah. Now that's, uh, you know what? That's pretty cool. Um, it is. It's a. Uh, your reaction to it has been great, and if that comes, it comes, but yeah. I don't know what way to answer that, really. You know what I mean? It's always, but yeah. Uh, this film also features a lot of complex characters. Jacob, what do you think it is about these types of ca characters, whether it be rich, unlikable types, or more calculating characters, like Barry's character Oliver, that's so fascinating for our audiences to watch? I mean, they're all human beings, and I think people try to hide those sort of dark sh places in themselves and I think these characters bring those parts of ourselves to light. Wow. Love you that. like that? I love that. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm take that one for my <laughs> solo. <laughs> and Barry, what was it like working with Emerald on this project? Were you a fan of her past work? Yeah, um, I, I was a massive fan of Emerald's um, and she was definitely on, on, on my list and you know so when the opportunity came about I was I jumped on it and um, but yeah, I mean, getting to work with everyone on this is, you know, I was kind of a fanboy. That kind of goes out the window after a, f a few hours. But uh, yeah, I was blessed. It was, um, it was an incredible experience, yeah. And Jacob, I know Margot Robbie was one of the producers on this film. What was it like working with her on this? Oh, well, Margot's the best, you know, goes without saying. She's, um, we, we were led by like an incredible team of people. Uh, so it's kind of same as Barry, yeah. just sort of pinching myself the whole time that I was there. Kind of, yeah. Not, kind I of, couldn't kind believe of not, yeah. I was working with Jacob Elordi. I couldn't believe I was working with Barry Keoghan. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, like uh, Barry fans love seeing you as the Joker and the Batman. Can you share any updates? Will we get to see you in this role again? Do you know what? Uh, I can't really answer that, but I can. But no, I can't. But uh, uh, no, it's. Uh, I mean, I've obviously I, I enjoyed my, my my time on that, and uh, you know, it's a, an iconic part to play. And um, but yeah, I'd love to obviously see it go forward, and we'll see what happens. Hmm. We'll see what the future holds. <laughs> what drew you both to playing um, Oliver and Felix? I feel like they're such different characters and departures from the past characters that you both played. Uh. I mean, you know, Emerald was, was the draw for me. Um, you know, I wanted to work with Emerald and, um, you know, that was the kind of, you know, the reason I stepped on. Um, and obviously, you know, when a director approaches you with telling you that they had you in mind from the start, it's kind of a, a nice a nice uh, feeling. Um, so, the, I mean, the character itself is challenging. It's a showcase for a young actor. It's a part that, you know, you get to kind of, you know, really um, elevate yourself. Um, so, I mean, it was all there for me, all there. And what about you, Jacob? Yeah, Em was, um, she was like very specific and very vague in the first meeting we had about what it was gonna be. But it was uh, just based off of our first conversation before I even knew what the movie was. I knew I was gonna go in and play you know, whatever she would let me play in a movie. She's um, she's really one of the best, you know, um, and we just had the time of our lives. And then could you both describe the film in three words? Exhilarating. Sexy. Charming. Sexy. 
cinema. Sexy. And yeah, proper, proper sexy. Like <laughs> proper, proper, proper sexy. Not because I'm in it, <laughs> but like, no, yeah, because I'm in it. Because Barry's in sexy. it, yeah. I mean that dance scene. You kind of, you kind of really put your all into it. I did indeed. He's I got did. The, he's got the moves. I got the moves. I didn't know I had you the know? moves. You know what I'm saying? But uh, there was a little bit of fussy in there. <laughs> yeah, but no, I was, uh, I was quite the challenge. Uh, but after the first take, I was, you know, Emerald kind of creates a, a really comfortable set for you to try these things. Um, it's not a normal thing to get out and dance in your nude. But again, if it moves the story forward and. Creatively, it's for the right reasons. Well, then I'm I'm doing it. But uh, I definitely wanted to challenge myself as an actor and kind of show maturity and 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 taking that step. Um, but I had fun. I had fun doing it.